Hi guys, thanks for joining me. My name's Daniel, and in this video I'll be showing you how to create and run PHP unit tests on your code using Zen Studio 10.5. Unit testing lets you test your code to ensure that individual units of source code are working properly and that the right output is being generated. Running unit tests ensures that your code is stable and functioning correctly and can also help you diagnose errors. So let's get started. For this tutorial, we'll be testing simple calculator functions, which I've already created in a PHP file called Calculator. So in the PHP Explorer, I'm going to right click the file and select New PHP Unit Test Case. In the New PHP Unit Test Case dialog, most of the fields are already filled. What we need to do next is select the element which we want to test. To do this, we're going to click Browse. Zen Studio will automatically give us a choice of relevant elements, so we'll just double click the Calculator class. Back in the New PHP Unit Test Case dialog, I'm going to hit Finish. A Calculator Test file is added to our project, containing test functions without parameters. So before we run the unit test, we have to manually enter relevant parameters to be tested, along with the expected results. We'll start with the add function. I'm adding some parameters to be used by the function when the test case is run. In other words, the test will try to add 1 and 2. Next, I'm going to assign the result of this operation to a variable. Now there are plenty of different PHP unit methods, so feel free to explore. For now though, I'm going to stick to the assert equals method. The number 3 indicates our expected result. If the result is something other than 3, the test will report a failure for this function. Once we've saved the file, we can now run the unit test. From the menu bar, I'm going to select Run, Run as, PHP unit test. As the test is run, the parameters are entered into the functions in the calculator file to test whether the output suits the expected result we specified. And lo and behold, in the PHP unit view, we see that our tests passed OK, as indicated by the green tick icon. Four tests are displayed, one for each calculator function. The other three functions that we didn't touch passed, but we can see a note saying that they haven't been implemented. So I'm now going to add parameters for the other functions by repeating the same process I performed for the add function. OK, let's run the test again. I can use this icon in the PHP unit view to run the latest test again. Great, all tests passed with flying colors. Now let's take a look at how PHP unit helps us analyzing errors. I'm going to purposely insert an error in the add function by changing the parameters so that the expected result is wrong. Let's run the test again. We can now see that the test has failed, as indicated by the blue X icon. Now, let's see what happens when I try an impossible operation. In the divide function, I'm going to divide by zero. Running the test again, this time an exception is thrown, and the test fails over an error. Selecting the failed result will display it in the trace failure view. Double-clicking the failed result sends me to the relevant section in the code which I will quickly fix, save the file, and run the test again. Another useful option for diagnosing errors is debugging your PHP unit tests. To do this, first set some breakpoints in your code. Then, debug the test as a PHP unit test case. 
The debugger stopped at the designated breakpoint. Resuming the debugging, tested variables begin to show up in the variables view. Using the expressions view, you can observe the behavior of specific variables or expressions as your code is being debugged. So for example, I'm going to select and right click the result expression, select watch, and run the debugger again. Now, say you'd like to compare multiple instances of the same class, or cross-test an array. Object diff allows you to do just that. In this case, I'm going to test the output of the actual array to the parameters I entered in the expected array. But instead of running all the tests in the file, I can run a test on a single function by either selecting the test in the code itself, or in the outline view. Running the test, the test results inform me that an object diff was identified. In the object diff view, I can see the exact variation. Now, say you have a few tests within a project that you'd like to run simultaneously. A number of different PHP unit test cases can be unified into one unit test suite, which will run all your unit tests at once. I'm going to right click the project and select New, PHP Unit Test Suite. I'm then going to add the elements to be tested. After clicking Finish, a new Calculator Suite file is created, integrating both tests into one file. I'm now going to run the test suite by going to the menu bar and selecting Run, Run as, PHP Unit Test. Both tests are run, with the results of both displayed in a tree in the PHP unit view at the bottom of the screen. And last but not least, let's generate a summary report of the test results. To do this, all I have to do is click the Generate Report icon in the PHP unit view. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. For more information on the new features available in Zen Studio 10.5, please visit www.zen.com.